Despite being revered as a sporting legend by the whole golfing world, Norman has made a name for himself as a very savvy businessman. Norman has had business success across a variety of different industries and is also well-renowned for his charitable endeavors. In this video, we'll be revealing Greg Norman's lifestyle and net worth in detail. Watch to the end to be sure you don't miss any bit of information. The Early Years Norman was born to Mervyn and Tony Norman in Mount Isa, Queensland, Australia. His father was an electrical engineer, while his mother was the granddaughter of a Finnish carpenter. He played rugby and cricket as a kid and wanted to be a pro surfer. The 15-year-old Norman was taught how to play golf by his mother, Tony, who had a low handicap, and she let him caddy for her at the Virginia Golf Club in Brisbane. Norman moved from having a 27 handicap to having a scratch handicap in roughly 18 months. Norman studied at Townsville Central State School in Townsville, Queensland, entered in 1964, Townsville Grammar School, and Aspley State High School on the outskirts of Brisbane. At the Queensland Open in June of 1974, Norman, then 19 years old, attracted media attention. According to the Canberra Times, the young amateur Greg Norman was one stroke back after the opening round. Career Successes and Legacy Norman has five times won more than $1 million on the US PGA Tour, including three Arnold Palmer Awards as the Tour's top money winner in 1986, 1990, and 1995. He was also the first participant in the history of the Tour to earn more than $10 million in earnings. More than 38% of the big events he participated in resulted in one of his 30 top 10 performances. His 20 PGA Tour victories between the years of 1980 and 1990 are second only to Tom Watson's 21 victories during this time. Henrik Stenson beat his record of 267 for the Open Championship's last four rounds in 2016 and the Players' Championship final score in 1993, 264 in 1994. Norman's supremacy over his contemporaries, despite his relative lack of major championship wins, was arguably best captured in the official World Golf Rankings. In 1986, 87, 89, 1990, 1995, 96, and 1997, Norman concluded the year at the top of the ratings list on seven separate occasions. At the end of 1988, 1993, and 1994, Norman ranked second. In 1978, 1980, 83, 84, 86, and 88, Norman won the PGA Tour of Australia's Order of Merit six times. In addition to topping the PGA Tour's money list in 1986, 1990, and 1995, he won the Order of Merit on the European Tour in 1982. He was elected into the Golf World Hall of Fame in 2001. He won the Varden Trophy three times in 1989, 1990, and 1994 for the lowest scoring average on the PGA Tour. Norman won the BBC Overseas Sports Personality of the Year accolade in 1986. He repeated the feat in 1993 to become the second person, after Muhammad Ali, to win the award several times, now also joined by Roger Federer and Usain Bolt. Norman was given the title Legend in the Sport Australia Hall of Fame in 2007. At the 2008 Golf Industry Show in Orlando, he was presented with the Old Tom Morris Award the highest distinction bestowed by the Golf Superintendents Association of America. Norman oversees the Advisory Council for the Environmental Institute for Golf and serves on its Board of Trustees. He also received the 2008 Charlie Bartlett Award from the Golf Writers Association of America. Norman was honored by the Queensland Sport Hall of Fame in 2009. Greg Norman was named one of the Q150 icons of Queensland in 2009 as a result of his status as a sports icon as part of the Q150 festivities. The Greg Norman Medal, given to the top Australian golfer in a particular year, was established by the PGA of Australia in 2015. In 2015, he also got the Australian Global Icon Award and the Award of Merit from the National Golf Course Owners Association. Career Earnings Golf tournament winnings frequently brought in more than a million dollars each year for Greg Norman. He was the top earner in the world of professional golf in 1986, 1990, and 1995. Norman was also the first professional golfer in history to earn more than $10 million over the course of a career. His career earnings to date total more than $15 million, shattering this milestone. Greg Norman's Companies Norman formed the Greg Norman Company, previously known as the Great White Shark Enterprises, GWSE, in 1993 after quitting his former management company, IMG. The corporate headquarters of the now global company are located in West Palm Beach, Florida. For his line of clothing, he first utilized the shark emblem that Reebok had licensed. 
it is currently used by more than a dozen different companies. The corporation boasts annual sales in the hundreds of millions of dollars. The business changed its name to the Greg Norman Company in 2016. Here is a list of all business properties wholly owned by Great White Shark Enterprises. Greg Norman Golf Course Design, Greg Norman Collection, Greg Norman Estates, Wine Company, Greg Norman Real Estate, Great White Shark Opportunity Fund, Shark Wake Park, Shark Experience, Greg Norman Eyewear, Greg Norman Australian Prime, Greg Norman Australian Grill, and non-GWSE properties and partnerships. There are several partnerships and partially owned firms in addition to the totally owned businesses that fall under the company's purview. For instance, in 2004, Norman made an investment in GPS Industries, a Vancouver-based company, and was named its ambassador. Troon Golf, one of the biggest golf management organizations in the world with over 250 golf courses in its portfolio, was purchased by GWSE in collaboration with Kohlberg & Company. The company Alchemy Global, which seeks investors for companies in the sports industry, counts Norman as a key investment partner. In addition, Norman serves as a brand ambassador and partner for a number of businesses, including Qantas, with whom he has a connection dating back to 1976, Cobra Golf, Omega, and others. In 2017, the Greg Norman Company's consumer product segment was given management by Authentic Brands Group, Greg Norman's real estate business. Over the years, Greg Norman has made large real estate investments. One ranch in Colorado with 11,600 acres is noteworthy. The establishment, known as Seven Lakes Ranch, has a 14,000 square foot main lodge, a fitness facility, and a spa. Advanced equestrian facilities, guest cabins, and a whole section devoted to staff housing are also there. He bought three nearby pieces of land and joined them together to create the ranch. In 2004, he paid $9.5 million for his first acquisition. He made significant investments in the construction of Seven Lakes Ranch before listing it for sale for $55 million in 2017. Unfortunately, he had trouble finding a buyer, which caused him to decrease the asking price a year later to $50 million. He put the house up for sale in March 2020 for $40 million. He eventually found a buyer for an undisclosed price sometime in early 2021. Greg Norman paid $4.9 million for a mansion in Jupiter, Florida in 1991. Years later, he tried to profit on the increase in property values by listing the estate for a staggering $65 million. After two years, Norman was once more unable to locate a buyer. In 2018, he demolished the 1902 cottage that served as the property's historic home and replaced it with the Tranquility Family Compound. The mansion has 32,000 square feet of living area spread among a main house, guest house, carriage house, pool house, and boat house. It will be finished in the summer of 2020. Two wine cellars, a game room, and a movie theater are all located in the 5,000 square foot entertainment area in the main house's basement. The property contains a port that can fit a 150-foot boat and a tennis court. Greg and his wife Kiki put the mansion up for sale in January 2021 for $59.9 million. A few months later, they managed to find a buyer for an estimated $40 million. Live Golf Greg Norman serves as the CEO of Live Golf Investments. Players compete both individually for points and as a team in the seven regular season tournaments of the Live Golf Invitational Series, which started in 2022. The PGA Tour and the European Tour organizations vigorously opposed the series, suspending players who participated in it and criticizing Saudi Arabia's public investment fund for providing funding for it. When questioned on Sky Sports News in May 2022 about Saudi Arabia's egregious human rights violations and his feelings of working for such people, Norman responded as follows. They aren't my bosses. No. Since we are autonomous, neither MBS nor Saudi Arabia can hold us accountable. According to public records, Saudi Arabia's public investment fund owns a majority of Live Golf Investments, PIF. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who has been in charge of this fund since 2015, is Saudi Arabia's de facto ruler. Personal life Norman had a brief relationship with British tennis player Sue Barker prior to meeting Laura Andrassi, an American flight attendant. In July 1981, Norman and Andrassi got married. They had two children, Morgan Lee and Greg Norman Jr. They later separated in 2016 and Andrassi received a $105 million payout in the divorce settlement. He married the former number one tennis player in the world, Chris Everett, at the time on Paradise Island in the Bahamas in June 2008. However, after only 15 months of marriage, they divorced. 
Greg Jr. served as Norman's best man when he married interior designer Kirsten Kuttner in November 2010 on Necker Island in the British Virgin Islands. Hendrix and Harrison are Norman's two grandchildren. Philanthropy The QBE Shootout, originally known as the Shark Shootout, is a PGA Tour team golf competition emceed by Greg Norman. The competition is held in Naples, Florida at the Tiburon Golf Club. The Cure Search National Childhood Cancer Foundation profits from the shootout. In 1987, Greg Norman and his father, Merv Norman, established the Greg Norman Golf Foundation. The foundation offers junior golf club members, children with unique physical challenges, and students in schools and other educational institutions expert supervision and teaching throughout Queensland. The Golf Course Superintendents Association of America's GCSAA Philanthropy Arm, the Environmental Institution for Golf, is a partnership between the environmental and golf sectors with the goal of enhancing golf's compatibility with the environment. In 2004, Norman joined the Institute's Advisory Committee and became one of its trustees. Honestly, Norman's lifestyle is a really reputable one. And yeah, that's it for this episode. I'll see you in the next one.